My name is William. I'm the founder of the Academy of Robotics. A little over seven years ago, I had a crazy idea. I wanted to make a self-driving car that could autonomously move things from A to B. My original idea was actually to use drones, but the thing about drones is they're not a great user experience and the tech wasn't quite there yet at the time. So I invented Cargo, which is a self-driving car that's made specifically for moving things from A to B. We had many innovations from ways to control the car from a distance, new ways for it to be able to see when it is driving at speed. Now, it's not very clear where the road starts and stops sometimes. They're not clearly delineated. And also, some of these roads have cracks, potholes, the grey on the road is affected by the shadow, or maybe it's an oil spill, or it's a crack. So all these things were new types of tech we had to make to be able to make this vision a reality. So before deploying, uh, we had to make this car street legal, and so we went to the DVSA that went through everything about this vehicle, and do all the tests required to make sure firstly it was safe and street legal and insurable. Now, legislation in the UK says any sort of self-driving car or vehicle like this does need to have a skilled operator able to take over. So we invented two types of tech. One of them was Athena, our space bus. Imagine this giant bus where we could literally load the car onto it, but we could actually use it as a remote control command hub as well. So our staff or team could monitor these vehicles as were being tested in the sort of more remote areas. A few years later, we then debuted Cargo at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. I've got to thank um, Paul Burgess, our lead designer at the time, did an incredible job of this spaceship looking car that really drew attention. People just looked at it and gawked. And you know, one of those common questions I'd get was, can I buy one of these? When can I own one of these? And it's something I had in the back of our mind. And so the reason you're seeing me here today is the culmination of all this tech, which distills into three very distinct products. But today we're gonna to focus particularly on Cargo. Not Cargo the delivery bot, but Cargo the road bot. While the vehicle we made was stunning, we also knew that it's not necessarily the right implementation for being able to do deliveries. For that would need something slightly bigger. The vehicle, however, is a great vehicle for someone to actually be able to own and drive and let it drive itself today as many of these leading systems do as well. I'd like to introduce you now to Cargo, the robot. Hello Pasihapori, where would you like to go today? While I am driving, please remember to also pay attention to the road and be ready to take over. There is some pretty bad traffic in Roxham due to flooding. Would you like me to drive us on an alternate route? I've updated the navigation to highlight potholes on the map. You'll see them marked in yellow. Please drive cautiously 